What have we got here then? We've got uh, a Sibo. It's a Sibo BS36. Um, now this is interesting because I actually I was going to buy one of these. I really wanted one of these ones before I bought the G1. Um, but they were a ridiculous amount of money new and I couldn't find any second hand. But then uh, there you go, that's just the way things go these days. So it's so it's okay condition actually. Um I've literally pretty much just come back from collecting it. It was all the way in Broxbourne, which is down the M25 from me, um about an hour's drive. So I've just picked it up. The reason I've got the towel on the floor is because uh well I don't want to scuff it up. Because underneath it, because this concrete is tough, this concrete is concrete, obviously. Because, um, because I like this so much, what I might do if it turns out to be okay, I might keep this one and sell the other vacuum cleaners, um, the, the, uh, the Kirby, which is for sale anyway, if anyone wants to buy it, and anything else I've got, I might just sell and just have this one. Um, now, the one thing that I have noticed is wrong with it so far is uh, we're using this DSL out of film again so focusing is going to be a little bit dodgy but I've noticed that the the tube here is uh, damaged it's dented so I'm going to have to um, possibly buy another one of those I don't know how much they are exactly but I'll have to buy another one of those I think because it's got a dent in it Look. it's not going to affect it on performance too much I wouldn't have thought but as far as it looks, that will bug me, that will. Um, but the rest of it seems okay. Uh, it's got a few scuffs on it. Let's see if we can. I'm only, I'm, I'm only working with one bulb because my other bulb went. So it's going to be tricky with the light in here. Plus, it's pretty dark outside at the minute as well. And I just don't know why I decided to use this DSLR to film again. I, I kind of like it. Anyways, a few scuffs here and there. A few scuffs here. Um, it's dirty along here, nothing a wet wipe can't sort out, I wouldn't have thought. Uh, might need a bit of petrol, actually, to get some of these paint marks off that are on here. You can see there's a few paint marks along there. Might need a bit of petrol to get them off. And then get, give it a good polish and a good clean up after that. Um, I haven't looked to see what the brush roll, the brush is like. So let's tip it up and see what we've got under here. Uh, you have to excuse my shadow, but the brush, the brush actually seems okay. I believe this is, uh, oh, here goes the shadow again. I believe this is, well, I know this is twin motored, so unlike the G1 I've got, it doesn't actually have a belt to do the brush. It has um, a separate motor, which is quite handy. Um... So that's that's pretty good. Probably another thing to go wrong, you know. But and I did know he did test. He did show me this the little man that I picked it up from. He was actually all right, actually. Um, and he turned it on, and it, guess what? It doesn't rumble. <laughs> For those of you that watched my other video on my troublesome G1, I've got a rumble. This one doesn't rumble. Um, it's three years old, so. You know, it's uh, served a, a life, three years of it. I don't know, let's have a look at the rest of it. I've got this stupid strap hanging on here. Cannon. Um, let's see what else we've got. Ivan, he's, he's given me as well, look, he's given me here. Um, I don't think it has an instruction manual, but he's given me the crevice tool and the dusting. It's actually given me a dusting brush. He must have bought that separately because with my G1, I didn't get a dusting brush. I've got a stupid um, uh, thingy, I don't know what it is, thing, not a dusting brush. But one thing I've only just realized just now is there's no storage on this for the tools. Whereas on the, on the other SIBO, on the G1, there's storage for tools on the back, but there ain't none on this one. So, I'll be messing around with the pneumatic, by the way. I've been cleaning stuff out. That's why that's sitting there. I was doing that, and then I got the email to say I'd won this on eBay. So I dropped everything and went off to Broxbourne. 
Anyway, and he's also given me a numerous amount of bags. Um, and they are SIBO bags, I believe. They might not be, it doesn't matter if they're not because I've got plenty of them. No, they're, they're not in SIBO bags. I don't believe these are SIBO bags. I'd say SIBO on them if they were, so I'm going to be taking these. If there's one one of these fitted in it, I'll be taking that straight out and um, fitting a SIBO one, that's for sure. Um, I don't, well, actually, I wonder. I wonder whether the bag compartment is actually filthy dirty. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. Let's have a look, shall we? Right, here we go. I had to pause a minute because I had to go and get something in from the garden. I can hear the rain coming down on the roof. I can hear the rain on the roof. And I was thinking to myself, it's raining out here. I better go and get that stuff in. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see if the bag compartment's dirty. Because if it, if it ain't, I'm not going to um, keep putting them bags in. I'll, I'll go and fit a genuine SIBO bag. So, oh, manual focus again, people. Here we go. Well, put this in the light. It's not too bad, really. I wouldn't call that dirty, dirty. Don't know when the last time he changed the filters on it. That's a bit annoying, really. That cable hangs down there, isn't it? What's that all about, then? Eh? It's a bit annoying. So, how'd you get these bag out then? Let's have a let's have an experiment. Try and work out how to get this bag out, shall we? Do you know what? It's not too bad in there. Um, nothing. A bit of a. I might even get the. I might even get the pneumatic with its dusting brush on there and just suck up all the dust that's in there. There's only a little bit of dust in there, but it's not too bad actually. I reckon this has probably been looked after. I don't think it's got the filtration that this that the G1 has. Um, Bearing in mind this is a commercial grade vacuum cleaner. I don't think the G1 is. I think that's. Uh, I think that G1 is just ordinary. Um, well, actually, it might be a commercial vacuum cleaner. I think it does come under the commercial under the commercial section on the SIBO website. I don't know, but I know that's got good filtration. This one, I don't think it has. I might be corrected. Some of you might correct me. I don't know, but uh, I don't think it's that bad in there anyway. So, uh, oh, I got, I got, um, I got criticised that my videos are too long. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, bag back in. I'll use that one just for the time being, um, and I'm going to switch it on and see how, see how it does. Uh, just have a quick little demonstration before I clean it up. All right, this is going to be a bit dodgy with the lighting, although I have turned both lights on in here. Um, it's a bit dark, but we'll see how it goes anyway. I have noticed it has been fairly well used, this, because I um, don't know whether that shows up. But there's a bit of play in there. See that? See how much play there is in there? Um, I don't think that would have come like that new. So I might even be able to get, maybe it's a bushing or something that's got play in it. Maybe it's a bush there or something. I don't know, I'll have to have a look at that when I clean it up. Might better replace that and make it all nice and stiff again. Who knows? But um, let's turn it on and see how we go. Let's, uh, what's happened here? Oh, it's that stupid strap again. Trying to video this with a DSLR is a, is a bit of a mistake. Let's put that around my neck. Oh, that's a bit better. Here we go. Well, the brush is working. What a little night down there. When you pull the tube out, the brush stops. And then you don't have a lot of suction really though. I don't feel like there's a lot of su suction there. We might have to have a look at that. Find out why the suction is uh, not there. But we know that it works. 
the brush roll works. There's no strange noises coming out of it, that's for sure. The suction appears to be slightly weak, um, but then again, the G1 ain't got near, <laughs> nearly no suction anyway, so I don't know. But I'm relatively happy with it. Um, you yeah, know, just come up on eBay and I'll, I've I bid it on it at the beginning of the week, just randomly, with a stupid price, ridiculously low. I won't tell you because I'll let you lot ponder that. And then I got an email this morning and it was like, You won! And I was like, What? Won what? What have I won now? And then I was like, Blimey! <laughs> yeah. Sweet. You you couldn't e you couldn't even buy a meal out of a fast food restaurant for what I paid for this. So pretty sweet. Right, the next video you see of it, I'll be cleaning it up. I'll be giving it a good old polish up, and I'll be stripping it down and cleaning all the insides of it, making it all nice and spick and spam. And I'll be testing it properly indoors on the proper carpet. Sweet. I'm pretty pleased with that. And it's got the manual adjustment as well, that's what I like, I don't like automatic, we've got manual adjustment, love it.